A B D D B D D B D D D D B D D B D D D D D D D D D D D D D D Well, why don't you start, Kira? Okay, so we started the night out with my roommates. Um, we went to the Dandelion first because we got like free admission. Normally, we don't like to go there, but we decide we decided to do it. And then we decided to leave the Dandelion because it's a lot of kids who are younger than us. And as we were walking. We these guys are on the street and they ask us where we're going and we're like oh we're going to coppers and keep walking and then all of a sudden I feel something hit my leg and I thought it was a water balloon because that's more normal in America um, but then I feel and I like feel like there's an egg on me so I turn around and I look at the two of them and Kat has one on her arm I have one on my back and my leg um, and so we realized that we were eggs so they start running and at the same point then... um, the Garda drive right next to us and I flag them over and say, those boys just egged us. <laughs> While they go rushing down the street in their car, I go sprinting down the street in my heels <laughs> to get the boys. I might have been a little intoxicated, I have to say. I don't think I would do this in normal life, but I sprinted down the street because I felt that um, there <laughs> needs to be justice. There needs to be justice for us getting egged. Yes. Um, and then the guard had got them. Caught them. Caught them right there on the street. We <laughs> caught up to them. My friends running behind me, probably trying to stop me. Um, yeah. And who wants to tell the best part of the story? The hundred girls. Yeah. <laughs> so as we're standing there, one of the cops is talking to us, and then another one's talking to. I think it was like five, five boys. boys yeah. And like we see two of the boys sprint away, <laughs> and then they come back, and he's like, "Oh yeah, like they just went to the ATM." And as we were like standing with the cop, he was joking about like, these boys are just so dumb, like they're idiots. First years. They're so young. We're definitely first years. We were kind of making fun of them too. They yeah. kind of deserved it though. <laughs> so they come back with a hundred euro and the cops made them apologize to us saying that they didn't have to pay us, but they wanted to. Yeah. And they all said they're sorry. And so we split the hundred euro they, amongst ourselves. They claimed ourselves. that 100 euro was for our dry, dry cleaning yeah. fees. Meanwhile, I was wearing a jacket that cost me 15 euro yeah, to buy. My skirt was like five let alone 100 <laughs> euro in dry cleaning fees so we had a very nice end of the night once we got the egg off us we got you know we could pay for our cover charges our all drinks, the drinks we wanted our taxi our, our taxi, taxi home. home it was just it worked out pretty well for us yes. <laughs> yeah it's definitely well, our the favorite Dicey's story line. the dice what's the dicey's line and you're in line to get in oh, the dicey's yeah. and what happened they, they checked their purses <laughs> oh that's another really funny story about me chasing after people um, I have a problem, team, <laughs> I think. Uh, we were in line to go to Dicey's, which is a club like directly next to Coppers, and like they kind of like compete with each other. And um, there, my friends here, I didn't, but my friends did, had some naggins stuffed in their purse, <laughs> as all the kids do when they go out in the clubs in Dublin. Because Save drinks are money. drinks are nine euro, <laughs> which no one wants to pay. And um, the we've never been, we've never had our purse checked before. Like coppers doesn't check purses. Right. So they had their purses checked, and our nagins got taken away. And in our current state, we felt that getting the nagins back was, was the most important, important thing in the world because we had just paid for them. And so the bouncer handed them over to two homeless men who were walking Randomly down the street the at the street. time. And I said, excuse me, um, we would just like the nagins back, even if it means we can't get into the club. We'll go somewhere else. We just want our, our alcohol back. And she said no. And so I hopped <laughs> under the line and went sprinting down the street after the homeless men fell, <laughs> went sliding down Harcourt Street. The One of the homeless men popped me back up, helped me up. I said, I'm really sorry, sir, but could we have those back? And he said, yes, of course you can. Handed them back, nice walked balance. down the street, went into Coppers yeah. with our nagins. So moral of the story, we went to Coppers. Yeah. We <laughs> went to Coppers. <laughs> yes. <laughs>